Now, excuse me, will you please come with me to the manager's office? What is that for? Is there a problem? Yes, I have reason to believe that, that you have items in the handbag which you have not paid for. You mean, you think I stole something? What's the problem, Jean? This means some mistake. I'm not a shoplifter. Uh, ma'am, if you just come with me, I'm sure you will discuss this in private. That address he asked, would you like me to come along as well? Uh, yes, that will be the best. Come this way, please. But I'm telling you, I saw nothing. Just like that, if you don't believe me. Have you got a receipt for this bracelet? What bracelet? But I've never seen that before. I certainly didn't take it. I mean, I don't even like Jake. I never wear green jewelry. Do I, Paula? Oh, Jean, how could you? I, I didn't. You have to believe me. And uh, what about business? How did you get into my bag? You look far too expensive for me to think about buying it. Precisely, Miss. That's this why I suppose you decided to steal it. I must insist that you come back with me. How could you? How could you, Jean? Do you realize I could be in trouble too? What sort of friend are you? I told you, I honestly. No, no. No sticks went into my bag. If you cannot be just received, then we must assume that you stole them. I just inform you that we always prosecute the shop with this. But I, did, I didn't do it. There's been a mistake. Shall I phone the police, sir? Yes, please, Mr. Smithson. If we have done this too. What? You don't think I'm involved in this too, do you? See what you have done now. Wait a minute. I told I honestly don't know how those things got into my bag. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps they fell in. I mean, it doesn't sound possible, but there has to be a rational explanation. Hang on. Couldn't you check the film in the security camera? Surely I can show. Oh no, those cameras are dummies. They're not real. If that scare a potential thief, <laughs> there is no film. <laughs> then what made the girl suspect me? Why was I stopped? All expensive items are filled with special tape that someone tries to hold out of them who then tax a ticket, then in a lamp flash at the cash desk. We discussed for quite long enough. Bring the police, Mrs. Smithson. Yes, sir. So, it's like, I want to make it clear that I have got nothing to do with any of this, okay? Yeah. She deserves to be fine. I didn't see this, and I've had enough to do with it. If I had the faintest idea that she was a shoplifter, I would have never made friends with her. You haven't got any evidence against me, have you? No, you're right. There were no solid bits found in the handbag. Then I must insist you let me go. Uh, aren't you going to support me? <laughs> support you? Not likely. Oh, this ain't your two person. It's a very much like you. This sir. May I go now? <laughs> yes, I suppose so. We've got the thief. That's the important thing. This, the police should be any minute now. Paula, please don't leave me. You know I didn't do it. Yeah. Please try to stay calm, miss. It doesn't help to get all upset. I must confess, I'm surprised that someone came in such trouble. You don't seem this way. When we both ran into my office, I assumed it was the other lady from the shop with you. It just goes to show I should never judge my appearances. You have to believe me, I didn't steal that jewelry. Then how did it get into handbag? I I don't know. Unless unless someone else slid it in when I wasn't looking. No, that's impossible. Paula was beside me all the time. She would have noticed if someone else did it. Oh no, what am I going to do? I, do you know the irony? Something. The irony is that I hate Jake. I would never wear it. It doesn't suit me. My hair is too dark. It's only redheads who like wearing green. Redheads? Like the only one who just left? Yes, like my friend Paula. Or should I say, my ex friend? If my guess is correct, that young woman was never really a friend. You mean that she. What could be easier than an unsuspecting friend carry out the stolen jewelry and run all the risk, all the risk of being cut? Then, had some excuse for sticking it out of the handbag later. Your friend had plenty of opportunity to slip the items into your handbag while you were walking out the store. Yeah, it, it, that's right. It had to be her. Thank goodness for that. She only phone the police and tell you she's the one that should arrest. I, I give you her address. I'm afraid there would be no point in doing that. Whatever the truth of the matter is, you are the one who's finding stone in, possess in possession of stolen property, and only you have to face the consequences. But that's not fair! Wrong. Believe me, I'm truly sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it. Hello, Miss Stupid! 
You're so stupid. It's not much shouting at me. I did my best. But it was very good. How could you be so stupid as to leave the security tax on the jury? Mm. You nearly did everything. Now, next week, make sure the way I show you to do it properly. Now, which of your other friends is the most unsuspecting?